What is going on fellas and welcome back to the Charleston Tech Dynasty. Today we have another really hard game. I can't say that we're gonna win it, but because I don't want to go zero on three in three episodes, why don't we do a double header today? Now as you guys know I use my face cam for the game only. My camera is designed to record one video at a time, so to record two in one episode is crazy. So if you do like the format of double headers throughout the season, make sure you let me know down in the comment section because it's a lot tougher than just doing this game now checking out our team needs you can see we need a fullback but uh not too worried about that a lot of people can play that and on the defense it's looking like we need a defensive end even though we have two sophomores a middle linebacker and a cornerback now if you look at cornerback we have one freshman and one sophomore but four seniors those two cornerbacks at freshman and sophomore are terrible so to combat that i picked up the three fastest one star recruits i could possibly get two of them are corners one a wide receiver all three of these guys run a 440 flat which equals bb all right let's check it out 91 speed i like that and then Johnny Black, going from a 60, he's also got 91 speed. These guys are about 25% locked, so if we're going to go after him, it needs to be sooner rather than later. Well, we got a lot of people ready to visit too. Chris Johnson, let's bring him in again. Syracuse. In fact, let's just bring everybody in versus Syracuse. Chris Johnson, you're getting a scholarship. CJ Jones getting a scholarship. Look at that. Already no more points for a scholarship. I'm going to go ahead and remove Ronald Folks. He's a 59. I need these guys to start signing to the team because these points are very scarce. But for now, let's go ahead and drop 500 over on Andrew Jackson. Looking like a solid piece. We need him on the team. This is exactly why we're doing two games in one. Checking it out, Causey is 67th currently on the passing leaders. He still hasn't thrown a touchdown, so we've got to work on getting him one of those. And we're taking on Browning this game. Bostick's dropping down to 69. I kind of hope he stays there because that's kind of cool. And Dominic Sapp moving his way up to 18th, mate. I'm not trying to feed him the ball at all. But he's looking like he could be a top 10 receiver in the NCAA, which I find to be pretty cool. Emmanuel Small is 1,692nd on sack leaders with zero. He's definitely going to get a touchdown in this episode, though. I can assure you of that. I did see a comment saying, since Leak is no longer going to be playing the safety position, see if he fits in a cornerback. Since our slot corner was initially Colby Wheeler, 62 overall, I did move Leak into the second string. He boosts that cornerback position quite a bit, even though it is still trash. But hey, we need all the help we can get. So Rudy Leak, welcome to the cornerbacks. And without wasting any more time, ladies and gentlemen, I am ready to jump into game one of two today. Hopefully you guys are hyped. Let's jump into it. Quick side note, these guys are better than Ohio State. Gonna look out for the middle linebacker DT and our wide receiver. I know who this guy is. We're gonna get sacked a bazillion times this game, straight up. Couldn't you guys be exercising or something? These guys are all pumped up. We're just sitting over there playing dominoes. Let's get it, Parker. Let's go. Can we get some blocks on the right side? We don't get any blocks! I'm sorry, Parker. Go ahead and start this bad boy out with a read option. Rocking out with the alternate two away jerseys today. Oh, cool. oh, jeez. He came out of nowhere. Sap is now a star player. You love to see it. It's man coverage, though. Nobody is open. They are literally locking us down so bad early on. We go. We got man coverage. Get him on the out route. Cheese. There's Spencer. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, I got bounced up! Yikes, that was a good play. Our drives to start off the game have been so bad. We need to work on establishing that a bit better. There goes our first knee sack. The blitz actually got there. I'm super shocked about that. Give me that! Stacy Parker with the pick! He's going to take it back for a pick six. Let's go, baby! Bro, what a way to start out the game up 7-0. Don't think we're going to win just because we got that, by the way. That's not going to be the case, but... uh, Got that locked up across the middle. Lee, back-to-back -back picks. Let's go. Browning throws a questionable pass and Rudy Leak. Fresh cornerback with the pick. Oh, my God. Yo, if we blow this, I don't know what to think. Let's go. Bostic picking up four yards there. Second and six. Regardless, we're walking away with a field goal, fellas. I'm extremely hyped right now. Let's get it. Through the gut. Come on, come on. Oh! Let's 
We had such a good opportunity then to make something, but... Come on, Lee. Lee can't make the tackle. Horn on... Horn can't make the tackle, and they make it 7-all just like that. There we go. Get that block for me. Cause you gotta slide, dude. Run this out to the right side. Hopefully the blocking can be decent. We get good blocks. There goes Bostic. Duke move. Oh, he breaks the tackle. Yo, my guy is a beast. Making up for that fumble earlier. Maxwell, the backup. All right, we've ran the ball six times in a row. Let's switch it up with a pass. I think this is man coverage, though, and that's a huge problem for us. It is, in fact, man coverage. Let's go underneath. He's not even aware of the ball. These teams that play man coverage, the only way we're going to be able to make a play is if they don't press and we get them on the out route. That is the only way it's going to work, fellas. Oh, my. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, mate. That was such a bad pass. Let's just send it back to the Blitz, though. This has been getting big plays for us. Finally, they run it. Where was the run earlier? Gaskin's going to take it straight to the house on his first play. We go down 14-7. to See, they're still pressing, and that's why we can't pass the ball, because nobody's going to get open. We just kind of got to hope Bostic makes plays. Man coverage. Oh, no, it's not. We go across the middle. Sap taking a hell of a hit. Big third down. Causey hasn't been having a good game today, fellas. I'll tell you that much. Man coverage again. Oh, man. See, that is tough. That is real tough. I'm going to drop over on the tight end. Oh, I thought he was about to throw that. Let's jump on the running back here with Stacey Parker. Hopefully, they go screenplay. Give me that! Oh, Parker dropped it! I don't know what Jake Browning's awareness is, but it is very low. It's going to be a run play. Bring him down. Are you looking like a run play? It is a run play. He cuts it back. Hey, he gets brought down. I'm loving this blitz play straight up. It's amazing. We actually get pressure on the quarterback, and he's prone to throwing interceptions. Far from there. Toss play. I'm out there with Parker. Oh, he makes the big tackle. Let's go! Stacy Parker gonna go for his second pick six. Come on, don't get caught. You got this, my guy. Take it back to the house. Let's go, baby. What an absolute machine he has been today. Could have been three interceptions had he snagged the one earlier, but I'm not complaining. Let's not screw this up, boys. We... <laughs> I'm looking to pass it. And of course, oh, look at this. Oh, crap. See what I mean, though. Third and 17. They're not going to press for the first time in a long time. Oh, of course. We didn't even have time. That out route circle was wide open. It feels like such a shame to not repay Stacy Parker back for all of the work he's put in today. But there's nothing you can do about it, you know? If the offense isn't going to play, can't really do nothing about that. There goes our first sack. Oh, that out route got us. There we go, Emmanuel Small. Oh, he dropped it! Oh, Parker muffed it. Oh, and he takes a hit. I still got two clock on, that's my bad, but it looks like they're sending a blitz here. There goes the tight end across the middle. Good, picking up a first down. Like right here. Underneath, Spencer with the catch. At least field goal range, man. That's all I ask. We're not trying to throw a pick even though we probably will. There we go. That's a first down. I'll take it. Oh, how, how do you get sacked on a screenplay, man? Oh, I got to get out the pocket. Let's go, Causey. Look at this man go. Slide, baby. See if we can call a quick toss and try and get out of bounds. No, nah, we get absolutely no blocking. It's not looking good. We're going to have to throw it up. Let's go, boys. <laughs> and why is Brewster in? Well, at halftime, we're only down by seven. The most impressive performance yet by Charleston Tech. I'm kind of digging the defense. I feel like this is where we win the game right here. Oh, the big swat there. Okay. I don't know why they haven't given it to Gaskin. The guy can obviously break out 60-yard runs like it's nothing. 
And he's going to throw it out of bounds. Fourth and inches. I don't know how Bostic has 42 yards. The guy has literally done nothing. There we go. All right, that's probably why. Third and five. We're going to have to try and get Slapo involved. He's the star player for a reason. Hasn't done much this game because of the man coverage. But. Crap, we had somebody. Damn it. That's my bad, fellas. I know. We had people open. Can't afford to let the pressure get the best of you, Crow. You gotta make plays and you gotta make them now. Gonna be a run play. Please, please, please. This is what I'm saying, man. We can't stop Gaskin. Come on, Lee. Yes! Alright, good play. This is where we got the interception last time. Let's do it again. Nah, it's gonna be another run play. There we go. Bring him down. <laughs> oh, that slant route got burnt. I feel like punting it back to him right now because the best opportunity we have to score points is on the defense. Last time we ran this though, it was a turnover. Let's see if we can do this again. Ah. Kidding me, bro? That's my bad. What we're experiencing right now is Alaska Syndrome. With that team, because they're so good, I can make mistakes like turning it over and still dominate the game. With this team, there is no mistakes allowed. Otherwise, we're going to lose. You know what I mean? Like, we need to play a perfect game in order to win. And those two option plays that went for turnovers, both Alaska Syndrome right there. Gotta get my head out of the gutter with the play calling. Run play. He breaks free. He breaks another one. Bruh, he's a machine. He just broke four tackles. We could pass the ball against Ohio State. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do it against Washington. There we go. Break this one out. Ooh! That's the big play right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, Brewster! Brewster fell over! Did you see that? Literally giving the game away right now to Washington. Now they want to bring back the squiggly line cheese. It's man coverage. Nobody is going to get open, of course. There we go. First down. If their coverage is like that, we're easily out routing the entire way up the field. Like that. Easy work every time. Nobody's open, man. Intentional grounding. Do you know what Brewster would do in that situation? He'd go and headbutt the ref. All right, I'm going to have to force the issue here. Like, we haven't been doing that already, but... Nope, of course. Not going to have time. <laughs> Probably going to run the ball out, huh? Oh! <laughs> Stacy Parker! He's going to do it again! Come on! No! Are you kidding me, Stacy? with his third pick of the game? I can't believe he has three interceptions in this game. Yet we only have seven points. Holy crap! And... <laughs> The funny thing is, it's not even going to be... Ah, oh, of course. And he's going to pick six, that? That out route was clean open, my guy. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm getting out of this game as soon as humanly possible, man. Oh, I don't like this play at all, though. I do not like this. We go across the middle. Spencer can't get the first down. They're going to run it out. This is not good because this guy's a danger every time he gets the ball. This is the first time we're going to see him pass it late in the fourth quarter. Screenplay. I ran straight past it. That could have been Stacey Parker's fourth pick of the game right there. Fifth pick of the game, actually. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Lee. Come on. Come on. They're going to score again. They didn't have to do that. Come on. Can we get this playoff really quick? We got three seconds. Two. Come on, Brewster. Ah, we're not going to have enough time. The final score will be 48 to 7. We were 14 to 7 at halftime. Shut down their main receiver, Pettis, though. He did not have one catch in the entire game. So checking out the stats in the game, Causey with a 117.1 passer rating. He did have a 62% completion rate and 52 yards before exiting the game with an injury. Brewster came in and threw two picks, which isn't good. Causey did get sacked five times though, which is probably a big reason behind getting injured. Rushing into things, Bostic picking up 70, still being that consistent back that we can rely on. Receiving end, Spencer being the main receiver today with 55, Gould with 27, Sap one for three. 
Bostic, one catch and zero yards. Blocking today, we had no pancakes and six sacks, fellas. And on the defensive end, Tyrell Webb leading the team in tackles today. Leak with four, making a big impact at cornerback, one interception. And just look at my dude, Stacey Parker. Three tackles, three interceptions, 125 return yards, averaging 41.6. And of course, the touchdown, which gave us that 7-0 lead. That was absolutely incredible. We did get blown out again, but we still have one more game to go in this episode, and I'm thinking we can snag it. Here we go, Reggie Brothers, our very first recruit, 60 overall tight end, gonna be making plays for days. We did break the school record in that game with those three interceptions. Checking out the matchup versus Kansas, it is in fact our home opener. They are 0-2 and two and we are 0-3. and three. Somebody's walking away with a dub this week. Kirko's still going to be rocking with them, but the overall rating is much more manageable than the competition we've been up against. They only drop 16 points a game, we drop 10. We're close, boys. Checking it out, they lost to Idaho 14-31 and then Georgia 18-21. Checking out the updated stats, Causey did miss a lot of last game with injury, so he still remains at 300 yards five interceptions still bostic with 229 on the season sap didn't get involved much nearly 200 yards in three games still very nice but we see down the bottom there defensive team leaders not only is stacy parker leading in picks he also is leading the team in tackles with nine checking out their team their quarterback bender from futurama only 500 yards three touchdowns three interceptions not having a great year their rushing leader has been playing absolutely terrible 79 yards and one touchdown. Their best receiver is nowhere near as good as Sap either. And checking out recruiting this week, Reggie Brothers is our first ever commit. He in fact went up seven overall to a 61. Decent speed and acceleration for a one-star tight end. Terrible catching, but it's all good. That's really it. <laughs> Go ahead and spend some more scouting points. Andrew Jackson going up to a 68. Johnny Black going up to a 61. And Zeph Johnston goes up to a 64 terrible acceleration but good speed it's looking like our class is going to be quantity over quality you're not going to get any quality one star but we're going to have a lot of them checking out the conference standings we are the only team left to win a game notre dame is off to a really poor start sixth in the independence we take them on next episode which is probably going to be a loss our points for and against is 30 to 132. Major yikes. Sap dropping down from a comfortable top 20 to 52nd. And there you have it there, fellas. Stacey Parker is currently tied first for the NCAA interception leaders, all from one big game. With that being said, fellas, we're ready to jump into the second game of our doubleheader, our home opener. There's no excuses. No Alaska syndrome. Let's not waste any more time, fellas. We know what's at stake. Go Royals. We need to look out for their left end, DT, and left tackle, who are all pretty good, man. 94, 90, and 87. My goodness. You already know what the game plan is today. Same as last game. All we're going to do is blitz. I don't like how the strong safety is all the way over there. He's going to throw it short. That's what I'm saying. Why is the strong safety up there? I need you to bring your butt down here, mate. Oh! Let's get it, boys. Running back is tired. Going to go on the short slant. I can't change the play up. Ooh, the blitz gets through. Tyrell Webb on the TFL. And he's injured. Come on, boys. We just need one stop. It's a wide receiver screen. We make the tackle third and three. We need to cause some disruption. This quarterback is six from six on his drive right now. Oh, that corner got wide. Wow, that is terrible coverage by me. Ryan Chandler going to take it into the end zone. How are you going to let the other team have more fans at our stadium, mate? That's just, that's not how it's meant to go. Bostic, ooh, picking up five yards. Let's hope the blocking is on the money right here. Nope, we're going to get dropped in the backfield. There we go. Good picking up the first down. All right, let's see if Sap can burn him. The free safety is their star player. I'm going deep. Oh, Spencer! Ruben Spencer with the 51 yard connection. And with that, Lawrence Causey has completed his first touchdown at the college level right there. Now all we need is a big showing from the defense and we're good. This is the formation I wanted to be in initially. Gonna be a run play. Bro, you've gotta be kidding. These sliders make any team a 99 overall, man. Just like that. Oh, 
I'm going to take triangle. Make it safe. We get ball to start the second half, right? That's going to work out well for us. There we go. Not hard. Pick up the first down. Do we test Ruben Spencer again? They're playing off quite a bit. I got Sap going deep. It's man coverage as well. Oh, of course. And it is pissing down out there. How is it sunny and raining? That doesn't make any sense. Sun shower, boys. Oh, in the backfield, Bosti gets taken down. Somebody's getting open here. The question is who? Oh, my goodness. We had X wide open across the middle, man. Feels bad. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he tried to go for the strip. Another run play. There we go. TFL. Can't change the play up. We're going to be chilling on Parker. And this is going to be another run play. Are you joking me, mate? There we go. The man coverage on the running back is like non-existent, man. You know what I mean? Even when he gets put into passing plays. He's going to have to take off. It's a fumble. Oh, that is going to count as a sack, though. I'm not sure who Hughes is, but he makes a big play on the ball there. Come on, boys. Wait, there's nobody on that receiver right there. Why is there no man coverage on this guy? What? I noticed that literally a second before they hiked the ball. That's unbelievable. I don't know where Sap is. They haven't got him out here. They've got Towns instead. Right across the middle. I like it. We got some blocks. Ruben Spencer. He's having a big day out there. 73 yards and a touchdown. Extra blocking here. Right across the middle of the field. Rich Wolski slow as anything. Back. Across the middle, Emmanuel Small gets burnt and misses the tackle. Two for one deal right there. Another run play. I completely missed him. Jeez, Crow. Yeah, look at that blitz. That's whack. Oh! There we go. Oh, Sap can't get it. We're going to run hurry up, though. There we go. Causey! He's made space and he's going to run out of bounds. Right across the middle, Rich Wolski again, making the big play. Let's call a timeout. Oh, Downs, he's done it. The throw on the run is delivered. And that throw on the run was sexy and double coverage as well. We were closer in the Washington game, but don't lose hope, fellas. There we go. Bostic with the first. I really don't like this, but they're going to call press if I change it to a pass. There we go. Look, they fell for it. Causey sliding out of bounds. 4v3. Uh, let's flip it out to the left. Oh, we get some blocks. And Bostic has made his way into the end zone. This game is so much fun when you get blocks. This time, everybody's manned up as well. Good. Handoff play. I don't know why he didn't cut that back earlier. He broke. Oh, lucky he tripped over. Another run play. Oh, Stacy Parker on the hit. Run play. Tyrell Webb. I will gladly give up a field goal. Gonna go to the running back. Oops. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he had it, but he dropped it. Come on, Stacy. I'm just going to stay on Young. They've checked out the safeties. And it doesn't even matter. He's going to blow in for a touchdown. There we go. Towns again. The interpretation route. Cheese. Slide. Woo. We would have fumbled that 100%. There we go. Get the block. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Causey slide. Once again, I think another situation where we go for it on fourth down. It's man coverage, though. Oh, Ruben Spencer. The spin king himself. Two touchdowns on the day. Now, all I ask, fellas, we get one stop. Not asking for a miracle here. Just get one defensive stop and we good. Around what flag? Oh, 
We still get the ball though. Oh man, this game has got me like so hung up on emotions, Bostic. That's nearly a first down. There we go. Looking nice. Slide. Let's go, Bostic. He's in. Oh, first and goal. You already know what's coming, fellas. Like, literally, first and Mandingo. We're just gonna run it with Causey. What? I don't see any reason to do anything else. He's in for the touchdown. We tied it up. Now we just gotta get one stop. I'm running the clock out. If we get this ball back, I am running this clock out, hands down. Oh, he's gonna get sacked! The blitz finally gets through from the cornerback. <laughs> this game though there's no way they get this first down though oh, nearly it. they're six and six on third down conversions i do not like our chances boys they're going five wide for this it's four verticals he goes underneath Let's go man am i nervous no i'm not we are ready to score this touchdown on this drive we have first game at home as well. Causey, first down. Run it through the gut with Bostic. We're nearly in field goal range already. That's an easy first down. <sighs> Imagine if he dived. <sighs> oh, come on. And he's injured, Bostic. No. We need you, bro. Maxwell ain't gonna get it done. They better start blowing their timeouts as well. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, he's only out for two quarters. That's my bad. I thought it said two weeks. We're just trying to get this dub. We're trying to score a touchdown right now. Maxwell nearly getting there. Not much time to go. Go, man! GG, Kansas! Squibber. Oh, he nearly broke that. One second left, though. I'm gonna jump on Pettit. The Hail Mary, obviously. That's that's Emmanuel Small with the interception. That's how we're gonna finish off the game. I can't believe we won, man. Well, there you go, guys. Finally, you have something to be excited about. Checking out the stats on the day. Lawrence Causey, 225.3 passer rating, 77% completion rate, 270 yards, three touchdowns. Not only did he get his first touchdown through the air today, he got three of them. Rushing into things, he picked up 124 yards, two on the ground, Bostic before the injury. 56 and a touchdown. Receiving into things, Ruben Spencer, 103 yards and two touchdowns. Towns, 44 and a touchdown. Sap not having a big game, but it's all good. On the defensive end, Antoine Horn, five tackles. Emmanuel Small, five and an interception. Rudy Leak has really been working out at cornerback. That's two interceptions in two games since starting at cornerback. Not that good of an overall, but it definitely was an upgrade, I'll tell you that much. Stacey Parker, not having a big game, only three tackles, but still always a monster. Colby Wheeler, the corner, 62 overall. He's our fourth string cornerback, and he got a sack. That's what I like to see, boys. That is showing hard. Our coach finally cracked level two. We also signed Chris Johnson, his brother, Eric Johnson. They'll be playing next to each other on the field. And we picked up a second left end. That pretty much solves our end problem. Let's go to the next level of this, giving us 50% of a prospect's true skills. That's going to help us out a lot. Looking ahead to next episode, we have our first NCAA independent matchup against Notre Dame. Can the Royals invade South Bend and leave Notre Dame Stadium with a victory? Probably Probably not. They have a B, B plus, and a B minus on their overall ratings. We're chilling at just D's across the board. Checking them out, they beat Fresno State 44 to zero. Only lost a number one ranked Bama by nine points. Just beat LA Tech and lost a number six Oklahoma State 47 to 14. So a really up and down season for these guys. And because Notre Dame is one of those bigger games, I think I'm just going to record that game by itself next episode. Checking out their team, their quarterback is on a tear. Seven touchdowns, one interception, 662 yards. Running back, nothing too crazy in all honesty. Their receiver, St. Brown, 351 yards. He is balling out this year. 
And after the most recent game, Causey goes up to 623 yards, three touchdowns and five picks. Emmanuel Small now back on defensive team leaders with 14 tackles. Stacey Parker still chilling with those three interceptions. But that being said, fellas, hopefully you guys enjoyed episode three of our Charleston Tech Prestige Dynasty. I'm absolutely loving this series, man. Hopefully you guys are too. If you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Out all night, I don't know where you've been. You're slurring all your words. Now